Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. Let's learn how to import a 3D model into Moho. As you can see the animation video right now, it is rigged and animated in Moho. But the model is not a real 3D model in Moho. It is just different images sequence exported from a 3D program called Blender. I've been trying to import a 3D model into Moho using OBJ format. It loses textures, color, and even line art. That's why using the image sequence is the only option for now. I am not going to uh, show you step by step when it comes to creating the car in Blender. If you want to take a look, I also put this 3D model with the link in the description. Now inside Blender, press Shift A, then choose Grease Pencil and Scenes Line Art. You can now see the several strokes on the edges of the car. You can adjust the thickness, even the opacity. But when you view it from the outside of the camera, it's not going to look like the way we expect it. By default, the stroke looks quite boring. So I want to make it looks more interesting. Go to add modifier. So add the simplify. Select simple mode. Again, I'm going to add noise effects. First of all, let's reduce the position. And increase thickness. Then playing with UV and noise skills. Until you have stylish brush strokes. Press Shift A to bring up the addable materials. Then I will add the empty. As I don't want to rig this car, I am using this empty to control the car. Now select any part of the car and shift. Select the empty. Then press Ctrl P. Then choose object. Again, select the main part of the car and shift select the empty tool, control P and object. Select the empty and extend the transform panel. Now let's play the axis rotation. As you can see, the car is rotating following the empty. Press I to record and set keyframes. I will set 0 on the first keyframe, 
360 at 120 frame. Again, set the end frame at 120. Now we have our car rotation animation in Blender. In order to import and use this model in Moho, all the images should be transparent. To do it, go to Render Property, scroll down to Film and check this transparent. Now we have a transparent background. Before exporting images, I want to reset the position of the camera so that I can see the animation of the car starting from the front view. Go to Output, select the folder where you want to export and make a new folder here. I'm going to name it Sample Rotation. Accept. To make sure that the image format is set to PNG and RGBA. Now we are ready to render. Go to Render and Render Animation. The render time is based on your computer performance. The better the computer, the faster the render time. Now we are in Moho. Let's import the images with image sequence. Navigate to the folder where you just exported from Blender. Press Ctrl A to select all the images and click open. Now, as you can see, we have our motor inside Moho with image sequence. Right click on the image sequence layer and convert to switch. Wait for a few seconds. Now we have like this and I'm going to delete the opacity keyframe here, which we don't really need. Then right click on the sequence layer group with selection, name it as 3D car, convert it to bone, add the several bones, name it rotation, and remove the string, enable the angle constraints, add a new smart action. Double click to go back onto the main line, select on the car layer. Now, as you can see, the last keyframe ends at frame 80. Now, back to our uh, smart action. Uh, navigate to frame 80. I'm going to rotate this smart bone all the way to the right. Back onto the main line again. I'm going to select all of these switch frames and press Ctrl X to cut and copy. Back to Rotation Smart Action, make sure you are at frame 0, press Ctrl V to paste all the keyframe. Back to Main Line, now as you can see, we can rotate the car using Smart Bow. Now back to Blender, let's say I want this car moving up and down while driving. So with the body of the car is selected, I'm going to increase the C-axis from the location just for one single click. Go to Output, make a new folder and name it Move Up 1. Accept and render the animation. Another one click in the C-axis. Go to Output make a new folder, move up to accept, render. I keep doing the same process until I have several sequence for the moving up animation. In order to import a new sequence, you need to make sure that you don't select any layer inside of the bone group. Select the bone layer. So the new sequence will only work outside of this bone group. Now let's import a new sequence. Select the move up one folder and then open. Now as you can see, the new sequence is outside of the bone group, which is what we need. Right click and convert to switch again. 
wait for a few seconds. Delete the opacity keyframes. Move the new sequence into the bone group. Now let me name the group individually. Select all the switch frame from the move up folder. Press Ctrl X to cut and copy. Back to rotation smart action again. Select move up one folder. Go to frame zero and paste. Keep doing the same process until all the moving up sequence are imported. Now we have all the four moving off sequence, including their simple rotation folder. Select all of them and make a group and convert it to switch again. For the preview, I'm going to set the simple rotation as a default. Now let's create another new action for a moving up and down. Now just switch over on the several group following the smart bone rotation. As you can see now, we can control the car not just only rotation, but also a little bit up and down. If you can add more sequence, you will have more option to control. For example, like this car, you can move it not just only up and down, but also rotate it upward and downwards, which is more convenient to animate. By using this technique, you can import any kind of object and materials for your animation workflow. Alright, so that is the end of this tutorial for today. And I hope this will help you somehow. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.